Hello, I'm Detective Flam, Public Information Officer for the Mesa Police Department. This critical incident community briefing will provide you with details about an officer-involved shooting that occurred on September 18th, 2020. This video is based on a preliminary review of the incident, which is still under investigation and will not draw any conclusions surrounding the officer's actions. The Mesa Police Department conducts thorough criminal and administrative investigations into all officer-involved shootings. The investigations include interviews of witnesses and the involved officers, eyewitness statements, as well as an analysis of video and forensic evidence. All of the evidence is then turned over to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office for review. You can find out more about the Mesa Police Department use of force best practices by visiting our website and clicking on our use of force review project. Before you watch this video, please note that it may contain strong language as well as graphic video and images, which may be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm Sergeant Jason Troth. The following critical incident happened on September 17, 2020. On that day, the Mesa Police Department received a call reporting the kidnapping of two-year-old Esmeralda Teneo. My, I just had a kidnapping of my daughter. Okay. I just put her away from my arm. Okay. What's the address? Eight South 39th Street. I have it all on camera now. Okay, so Seven South 39th Street, and that's in Mesa. How many minutes ago did this happen? How many minutes ago did this happen? Right now, ma'am. Okay. So right do you know who it is that took him? Or took He's her? driving crazy and erratic. Right now, he just took the baby from my arms. In the... Okay. So is anybody injured or any weapons involved? Yes, he just ran us over with the car. Okay. So you need paramedics? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Were any please. weapons involved? Please, please take my guess. Any weapons please, involved? Ma'am, please. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and he just ran us over with the car. Okay. My mom is severely injured. Okay. So he has a gun. Did yes, he run with the gun too? Yes, ma'am. He just took my daughter from my arms. Officers responded to the 1800 block of 39th Street in Mesa. There, the little girl's mother, Karina, told officers that the two, two year old had been taken by force by her biological father, Esau Taneo who does not have any custodial rights. Katrina told police that Taneo drove up to her as she was leaving a Popeye's restaurant with Esmeralda. While she was stopped, Taneo tried to open her car doors to take the little girl. Here's surveillance video from that Popeye's. You can see Taneo approach the vehicle and try to open the doors. Karina feared for their safety and drove away, dragging Taneo a short distance as he clung to the vehicle. Teneo followed them as they drove home and was able to take Esmeralda as Karina and Esmeralda's grandmother attempted to stop him. Teneo told Karina she would never see Esmeralda again. He drove away from their home, dragging Karina and Esmeralda's grandmother with his vehicle. Both suffered injuries as a result. Karina also told responding officers that she observed a gun in Teneo's waistband when he took Esmeralda. The Mesa Police Major Crimes Unit was assigned to the case, and because Taneo had a violent history, had made threatening statements, and was reported to possess a firearm, the Arizona Wanted Violent Offender Task Force was assigned to assist in locating and rescuing Esmeralda. Negotiators were able to make contact with Taneo on his cell phone, and with Karina's help, tried to get him to bring the little girl home safely. Here is some of the audio from those conversations. It's okay because I told you what I told you is I'd rather go back in a box and go back in a fucking cage. I could be gone tomorrow going out. You'll never see this little girl in here. Don't you have work that morning? Yeah, I do. I'm sure she won't be going. She won't have to because I need to make money. For what? You're not a daughter anymore. What are you looking for me for? Taneo then turned off his phone, preventing any further negotiations. Early in the afternoon on September 18th, the Arizona Wanted Violent Offender Task Force tracked Taneo to a residence and saw him leaving the house. He got into a truck with Esmeralda at that time. 
Detectives tried to stop Teneo, but he took off, driving erratically while Esmeralda was in the back seat, without being safely restrained in a car seat or a seatbelt. Here is a video from our air unit where you can see Teneo in the white truck driving unsafely through the streets. Officers were increasingly concerned for Esmeralda's safety. Northbound 71st. I'll check. 73rd Avenue. All right, he's overtaking a car here, still going westbound, uh, opposing lane of traffic. Electric car. Takes him to the 7 Baker, 74. 371st, eastbound high rate of speed, Indian School. Negotiators were able to establish contact with Teneo on his cell phone once again and urged him to pull over. He was aware that officers were following him, but he refused to stop. And, you know, and I don't want, want the baby having to be put in danger. I mean, ultimately, let's, let's be honest, I mean, the best thing right now is just to, to pull over. I know that you don't want to. I know that you've already said that you don't want to, but, you know, it, it, it's safer. It's, it's a better thing. It's okay, a better thing. Pull over, they're going to take the baby, and then what? They're going to let me go? No, right? No, they're not going to let you go. Okay. You, 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 just, you just step out. You follow the instructions officers outside. Just, you know? What do you want, man? I, I want you to pull over and just follow the instructions of the officers outside. No, no, I'm pulling over. I'm not 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 pulling over. But you went somewhere where... Where you were. What? You went somewhere that you told us that you weren't going. Shortly before 4 p.m., Teneno drove to the back of a QT parking lot at 1915 West Southern in Phoenix. Here is video as his truck comes to a stop behind another vehicle. Officers were in the car behind him and to his left. Uh, he's getting a little impatient here. He's waiting for uh, traffic to clear. Teneo suddenly opens his door, slightly closes it, then pushes it open quickly again quickly bringing his right hand around, holding what appeared to be a black shiny object in his right hand. The officer to his left said at that moment, he believed Teneo had a gun in his hand, and that's when the officer involved shooting occurred. Turn on to 19th Avenue. Uh, he's out, uh, driver door's open, correct that. He's still in, driver door is open. Uh, they're banging him. Falcon looks like they have secured the uh, child. Here are some stills from the video where you can see Teneo's body position. One shot was fired, which struck Teneo, and he was pronounced deceased on scene. A search was conducted and no weapon was found in his vehicle or on his person. A black cell phone was recovered near his body. Esmeralda was recovered from the vehicle and returned to her mother. Thank you for taking the time to watch this critical incident community briefing and thank you for your continued community support.